here is a Dumont 1950s black and white TV and also a Motorola tube type color TV. I got these yesterday at an estate sale and this TV was actually in a billiards room. It was in a, a built-in cabinet on a sliding uh, drawer and I was able to remove it. I'm not going to get it out now. I'll demonstrate it once I take it downtown because I don't want to have to undo the ratchet straps. I put hooks all along this trailer because it's imperative that the cargo be secured very well in the trailer to keep it from tipping over. I tried to haul a, a Sears reed organ in this by just wrapping the ratchet straps around these rails and putting them on and the ratchet straps got loose and it tipped over. Luckily there was no damage but I didn't want to repeat that again. So I've got hooks all along here and this allows me to get ratchet straps on top of the cargo as well as around no matter how much cargo I've got in the trailer. And so it uh, successfully made the trip and I got some on the, some hooks on the front too so that I can stabilize the cargo that way. This is a, a pretty high performance set. It's got a lot of uh, tubes in it. The rectifier tubes and power transformer are up here. And it looks like this this plastic on this yoke is really really disintegrated. I'm not sure if there's a there's really a fix for this if I could maybe silicone it or just kind of just kind of peel away all this busted up stuff whatever it is if it's bits of bake I don't know if it's bake a lot or what it is but I'll see if I can if I can fix it but there's some more of the chassis it's got four IF stages here's the tube diagram and I'll take some pictures of this, some still pictures of this and put them on videokarma.org. I'll try and, and do that as soon as I can to get a better view of that. And uh, here's the speaker down here. It's got the speaker output transformer mounted on it. When I saw this, I, I saw this cabinet and thought, oh, this is another one of those TVs that, or these cabinets. It was once a TV, but now it doesn't have anything in it. But I opened it up and I was surprised there was actually a TV in there. So I'm going to take this, uh, going to take this and put it in the building downtown, and then we can uh, show the TV uh, faceplate of it. I don't want to have to rig down the ratchet straps now. But this is a real, uh, a real long CRT. I don't know if this is 70, 70 degree angle or what. And it's a Dumont Teleset. Uh, the model is RA170. So I'm going to put the CRT tester on this and just see if we got a a working CRT. It's a Sylvania, so maybe it's been a replacement. Might need to rejuvenate it. I don't know. Then I have to get the chassis out and start replacing caps. And there's the flyback. Uh, system in there. And here's the Grand Marquee. I had to replace the ignition switch on the Grand Mark or the ignition lock cylinder. It busted off at the gas station. I turned the key and it jammed in the uh, in the run position. So I was able to hot shot the starter relay to get the starter to work and then I was able to drive the car home, luckily. But then I went to the auto parts store and got a, a, a new ignition lock cylinder for it. And I've taken all the building keys and put them on a separate key ring. I've only got three car keys. I put only the car keys on a key ring. And I don't know if a lot of key weight really led to that, but I don't, I don't want to take a chance on that happening again. And here's some other stuff I got at estate sales. There's a 
Here's a little portable radio. Here's a, a Panasonic radio that had been left outside. Let's see here. Here it is. And I'll demonstrate that more later. And I got some uh, newspapers from from the 1960s. Here's a Kmart box fan. It's got a Westinghouse motor and Kmart Lakewood box fan and a metal grill, but it's got plastic blades. I've never seen one like that. And also got a TV cart. So I'll get this get this stuff put in put in its proper place. Uh, I'll put the back cover on the the uh, Dumont Teleset now, but uh, this should be a really high performance TV just as long as I got a good CRT and a a good flyback.